Okay, can you hear me? All right, welcome back. As the description says, we got lucky seven today. But first, I need a fire, because it is too cold for this BS. I mean, it's not as bad as it has been, but I'd still rather not be cold. So to make that fire, I need a little platform. And I got my more Garberg. This is immediately becoming a favorite of mine. Fatwood. Next, go. Let me tell that dog a stick every now and then. When I'm using the knife, I don't want the dog around. Like, I don't want him getting too close, so I don't want him getting hurt. The last thing I need is my dog getting hurt. That's the absolute last thing in the world I need. went out. Hang on. This isn't the best start, is it? But yeah. Hang on. Yeah, things don't always go to plan. I gotta learn to adapt. Gotta learn to adapt. That's fine. That Garberg is something else. When it comes to striking a fire steel, that Garberg is something else. And, hold up. I think, yep. Man built fire. <laughs> Man make fire. <laughs> anyway, yeah, but yeah, that's the Garberg. I love it. It's one of my favorite belt knives now. Anyway. Today's competitors, made in China, surprisingly, this one. Plastic sheath with a little ferro rod. Clips on like a Morris sheath, cool. SK5 steel, slight hollow grind. All metal construction is the cold steel Bushman. I actually really like this one for some reason. It just, it has a weird charm to it. And made in the USA, 1095 Crovan steel, leather sheath, stacked leather handle, also seven inches with a clip point. Modified spines, both of them. The K-Bar USMC. Oh yeah, this is another personal favorite of mine. There's just so much history behind a K-Bar. I love it. Anyway, I'm gonna be feeding that fire periodically and also, just a heads up, if you have to put a knife into a stump next to you while you're working, don't put the edge t facing towards you, spine facing towards you. I mean, it's preferable if you don't have to do that, but, you know. First up, we're gonna chop. I'm gonna chop up this vine. I'm gonna try to. As I said, it's cold out, so it might be frozen, but that was great. This K-Bar is a great chopper for its size. They've got so much heft to them for the size. This is a bit smaller, but it's the same type of vine. Whew, that bite. I can already tell you this has a better bite. Oh, it's biting like an alligator. Also, as my buddy D-Bad said, you know, I'll say that after. As my buddy D-Bad said, with a hollow grind, straight back, don't twist it. It might break out a piece of the edge, and you don't want that. I've broken many, I've broken a few knives. Ugh. You feel sick afterward, that dink. That metallic dink. Hang on, Nix looks bored. Here boy, hey boy. Go get it. <laughs> you went that way, I threw it that way. Silly dog. All right, let's try this again. Nixon. Okay, that time he saw it. Good boy. Yeah, I'm playing with my dog throughout. He's a good boy. All right, batoning. I'm gonna baton this piece here with the K-bar. All right. 
Nice. I like it when I can baton in three strikes or less. Uh-oh. Just trying to keep this fire contained and controlled. Okay, there we go. Nothing's sticking out now. I do understand fire safety, don't worry. And I see Nick's now, he's just playing around with a with a basketball. That dog loves his basketballs and footballs. Is that I think that's too thin. You know, it's fine, it's a thin all it's all steel and but it's thin steel. So this should be okay. Again, I like it when I don't have to put too much effort in. Because if you're in a survival situation and you have to put more effort in than necessary, you got less chance to survive in that situation. Okay, next up we're gonna feather stick. Okay, seriously, people say it's oh you can't feather stick with a K-bar. It's like some residue or whatnot, but other than that, I think this is cherry wood. I'm not 100% sure. Next, what's wrong? Yeah, as you can see, a K bar is perfectly capable. All right, I'm gonna see if the modified spine I gave it can scrape fire steel well enough. Hang on. Next. Through the, the feather sticks all over. Almost. Ah, crap. Had it. I keep going. Ah. Totally different beast from the Garberg. But, we have fire. So it can do it. All right, this is the, is this the same piece? Yep, same piece. Almost this hollow, this slight hollow grind is actually pretty damn good for this. I've heard a lot of people say it's bad to hollow, the feather stick with a hollow grind, but I'm not having any difficulty. I think this might actually be the better feather sticker. These are both about as sharp as each other. Hang on, let me get to... Again, both these blades. I don't like that squeaking. We gotta keep going. Ah. I've gotten the fire up with this thing before. Come on. Ah, had it for a second. There we go. There we go. Whew. A bit more difficult. Alright, what's next? Kind of fall on my face, that would be nice. Next up, I'm gonna try carving a point. I'm gonna chop this part off. Ah. Ah. There we go. Again, this is gonna save you a lot of energy if you have to carve a point. And this thing is doing great. And one thing I like to do is use the sp is use the spine, a 90 degree spine, to actually scrape, actually scrape it to make it a smoother point.
I didn't want it to go fly this time, so yeah. Hang on. Oh, hang on. Smoke my eyes, sorry. Next step. Oh, wow. I like the bite this thing has. It's not as much, but it's definitely enough. Oh, that could be why. The stick is a bit hollow. That's the point we got with the K-Bar. Whoa! It actually chopped off part of the tip, if you could see. Anyway, I'm going to talk about price. This was about $70 when I bought it. Prices tend to fluctuate, of course. So be mindful of that. This? This ran me about $25 when I bought it, but as I said, I gotta pick a winner here, and if I had to pick a winner, it would be the K-Bar USMC. Yep, it lost to the drop for its survivalist, but it won against the, actually a K-Bar lost to the drop for it, a K-Bar did, I don't remember if it was this one, but it won against, it won against the Bushman. That, that does not mean the Bushman is bad by any stretch. It's amazing. But this one is just better. Hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, comment down below, please. Thanks for watching.